I'm very pleased to announce that President Obama will nominate General Allen to succeed Admiral Jim Stravitas as Commander, U.S. European Command, and NATO Supreme Allied Commander in Europe. General Allen is well known to all of you. And if confirmed, as I expect he will, his experience as, as head of uh, the ISAF forces will be absolutely instrumental in his broader role and in leading NATO's oversight of the mission in Afghanistan. President Obama will also nominate General Joseph Dunford, United States Marine Corps, to succeed General Allen as Commander, U.S. Forces Afghanistan and Commander of ISAF. General Dunford currently serves as the Assistant Commandant of the U.S. Marine Corps. He is an exceptionally gifted strategic leader. He's combat tested and he believes in ISAF and if confirmed, as I believe he will be, will be an extraordinary leader of that effort. And lastly, let me take my, my opportunity here to thank General Stravitas, Jim, for his service. Uh, I've trusted his wise counsel. He's been a good friend, and I've depended on his ability to sustain our military and political relations in Brussels and across the region. While well, Jim will be here until the spring, uh, we'll have much more opportunity to talk about his leadership and service. But I can't tell you how much uh, I am thankful for all you've done uh, in this capacity. Uh, as an Italian, it's nice to say that about a Greek. <laughs> owing, uh, owing to uh, the tradition in the United States, uh, Generals Allen and Dunford will refrain from public comment on their nomination in advance of their confirmation testimony before the United States Senate. Ladies and gentlemen, though, I, I am privileged to give the floor to Secretary General Rasmussen, and then I'd like to invite General Starvitas to say a few words as well. Secretary Panetta, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to announce today that allies uh, have approved uh, the appointment of uh, General John Allen, uh, currently our commander in Afghanistan, as the new Supreme Allied uh, Commander in Europe. Uh, following uh, the nomination by President Obama and, of course, pending uh, confirmation by the United States Senate. General Allen is doing an outstanding job in Afghanistan. I have been impressed uh, by his leadership, determination, and commitment. And if confirmed, I look very much forward to working with him even more closely once he takes on his new uh, role in the spring. And until then, I will continue to, to rely as ever uh, on uh, Admiral uh, Jim Savridis, uh, who continues to excel as our Supreme Allied uh, Commander. Um, and if confirmed by the Senate, I also look forward to working with uh, General Dunford uh, of uh, United States Marine Corps, who is being nominated to take over command in Afghanistan. This is a critical time in our mission. Uh, the transition of security responsibility to the Afghan forces is progressing according to the timeline we have agreed. We are on track to complete it by the end of 2014 when our combat mission will come to an end. We must ensure we keep up the momentum of transition and continue uh, to build professional and strong Afghan security forces capable of securing their own country. I'm certain that General Dunford will take on those challenges with great skill and energy. And I'm sure we will work closely together to build on the hard fought gains we have made. And with that, I would now like to hand the floor over to Sakur. Thank you. Thank you, Anders. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Secretary General. 
Secretary Panetta, my two secretaries. Uh, it's a pleasure to appear today very briefly to say a word, a pending Senate confirmation in the United States about two extraordinary U.S. Marine Corps officers. I first would like to say uh, I've known Joe Dunford for almost two decades. I've tracked his career. I've seen him in combat, and I have seen him take on the toughest responsibilities throughout that period, including his current service as a four-star officer and the assistant commandant of the Marine Corps. Uh, Joe, you will be superb in this role. We are all counting on you. Uh, above all, John Allen, who I have known for 40 years, we walked into the U.S. Naval Academy together in 1972, graduated together in 1976, have known and served together low these four decades, and I assure you, Mr. Secretary and Secretary General, you have selected the right officer to be the next Supreme Allied Commander. Congratulations, classmate, friend, brother. Thank you. Thank you all.